Hello there, I am Nev, I am a dev, and today I want to show you how to set up your database uh, with Drizzle and Terso. We're gonna start with a fresh terminal. And we're gonna first create our database. So Terso DB. Oh yeah, you'll need to install the Terso CLI. I'm gonna link the docs in the description. But now we're gonna Terso DB, create Drizzle video, uh, which is gonna create a Drizzle database. Who would have thought that? We're gonna need that later. So we're gonna do npm create spelt at latest Drizzle video. And we're gonna do go with skeleton project, use TypeScript, ESLint prettier. Why not this world five preview? And next we're gonna go to Drizzle video, not CD code. You can also open it directly in Visual Studio code outcome will be the same. Now we're gonna uh, set up some connections. So create a .env file and in our .env file we're gonna Terso DB show Drizzle video first which is gonna give us the URL URL bam and DB token is gonna be that what we get out of this command right here like that. Cool. So we got that one. Let's quickly hit npm install. Cool. So now everything is installed and we can do, we can install some additional things. We need .env, we need, we need drizzle or m and libsql slash client for creating a client with our database. So to connect our database, so to say. And let's go to index and rename this db.ts and let's just wait until the download is finished. So now we can go and import create client. Then we're gonna do import drizzle uh, from drizzle or m slash libsql and can run dev quickly. <laughs> so the types will be generated db token and db url and no nope, not import and then we're gonna create a connection so const client uh, not client client is great client and we're gonna go with url is equals db url and token is gonna be db token like that and now we're gonna do export <laughs> export const db is equals to drizzle client and uh, schema is for now undefined but we're gonna do that later uh, respectively now so we're gonna create the schema.ts and the schema is basically the file where we kind of build out the blueprints for our database so we're gonna set all the column types and all the yeah all the column types and stuff. So we're gonna import some stuff like uh, lib SQL table. No, SQLite table. Table, table, int, and text. And then we're gonna create our table. Const users table. Table, which is an SQLite table. And here we're gonna pass in the table name. So wait, why did we save two different names for this table? So kind of the users table is more of um, the name of the variable in TypeScript. If you want to query our database, if you want to edit something in our database, delete something like do our CRUD operations. And this name is just how the table is gonna be named inside of the of the database and normally I like to or I prefer to uh, set the name right in here to uh, with this um, ending table so that I know it's a table and not just kind of any random array with users in it so yeah now we're gonna set up the columns and first I'm gonna create an ID which is gonna be the type of int and dot primary key and yeah now we're going to set this to ID, same game here. ID is the name in TypeScript and this is the name in uh, in SQL or in our database like here and here. And if we set this to primary key, um, 
will make the column auto incrementing, which we want. And primary key also sets kind of the reference point for our database to, if we want to delete a user by its ID, it's going to take this one. So yeah, now just, uh, I don't know, username, username is going to be a text, um, username and admin is going to be a boolean but as you can see there is no boolean right here so drizzle kind of invented a hack for that which is let me set the name and the mode is going to be a boolean boolean and what this is going to do is this column will be zero or one and depending if it's zero it will be false and if it's one it will be true makes sense right so yeah now we created our schema and our database so what we can do now is import everything as uh, schema and now we'll also set the schema because the name schema is the same as here so we don't need to like do schema we can just do that so now let's create a drizzle.config.ts and first we're going to install npm install dash d which is very important because this dependency needs to be a dev dependency. And we're gonna do Drizzle Studio. No, not Drizzle Studio, whoops, Drizzle Kit. Sorry. Um, now it's importing Drizzle Kit and we can already import config from, from Drizzle or Drizzle Kit and then export default uh, an object which is going to be of type config so which will satisfy config nice so in here we need to specify some things like the schema which is going to be dot slash src slash lib slash schema and our out folder is going to be dot slash migrations you can call that name whatever you want. As you can see, we don't got any migrations folder right now, but this will generate our migrations folder. So now we're gonna do with driver, which is gonna be Terso, and DB credentials, which we can set by doing import dot env slash con uh, whoops not dot env slash config db credentials url is gonna be process.env.db url and the auth token is gonna be process.env.token and now this is yelling at us because this could be undefined because it's of course not always true that there is an env file right there so we're gonna do an exclamation mark this is our config for our Drizzle Studio, uh, or Drizzle Kit, sorry. And now to add our scripts, we're gonna go to uh, our scripts right here. So first what I'm gonna do um, is uh, generate, which is gonna generate a SQL file, SQL uh, kind of schema for us, uh, which is Drizzle Kit Generate SQLite. I like to call it Sklite because it sounds funny. And then we're going to do migrate. You can also call that push. You can really call it anything you want. You can also db push. Uh, migrate, which is going to be drizzle dash kit uh, push Sklite. And then the, re the last is studio, which is going to be drizzle kit studio. And now if we run npm run studio, we will get something like that, which of course does not exist because we haven't pushed our stuff to the database yet. So let me quickly open up a new terminal and run npm run generate. What this is going to do is create our migrations folder right here with our, yeah, our stuff in here. And then Next thing is npm run migrate. Migrate, let me make sure to spell that correctly. Change is applied, perfect. Let's refresh and our table is here. So yeah, that was 
basically the whole setup. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to cover how to query the database and how to create data in the database. But yeah, take this as a little quick guide for setting up Drizzle with your uh, Svelte Kit application. And we're going to see us in the next video.